recording uh, from my little uh, audition studio today. I want to talk about suffering <laughs> because life is painful and pursuing a life in the arts is painful. Pursuing a career in the arts is painful. The life of the artist is painful. And what I am learning is that pain can't be avoided. Pain shouldn't even be resisted when you encounter it. You're just going to have to learn to suffer through it. That is what I'm learning. I'm learning the key to success, the key to sticking with it, the key to making it, to not quitting, is not just a bullheaded push through pain. It is learning how to suffer through pain. It is learning how to suffer correctly. And it's something you can only learn just by doing. And that's the part that sucks. Suffering through pain is painful. It's not like it's fun. It's not like I've learned how to avoid or resist or get through pain without hurting. I just learn how to suffer. And learning how to suffer is just suffering. I suffer. <laughs> In the hardest times, I've felt lonely. I felt like I've got no one. No one understands me. I don't have a community, and that's the hardest. Those are the times where you want to quit. So if you can have a community of friends, whether it's an arts community, a family community, a faith community, people that can suffer with you, people that can bear your burdens, people that understand what it means to suffer, people that aren't trying to avoid pain and suffering, that's something that can really sustain you through the pain. I'll be 38 this week, and... I am conscious no more clearly than now of just how hard my 30s have been. I've experienced a shattering deconstruction both in life and in career, and it's brought pain. And my ability to make it into my 40s and to press on and to continue and to actually use my pain and suffering to actually build upon itself and have a life and career that is one of substance, because you can't have substance without pain and suffering. Um, my ability to do that is really through my ability to learn through my 30s and to learn how to suffer. I graduated in 2006 and took a few months off post-graduation and then in 2007 started trying to make my first film. My daughter was born in 2007. It's now 2019, 12 years later. I have never not been trying to make a movie in the last 12 years. There has never been a time where I haven't been trying to make a movie, trying to make my own art. That first film in 2007, I never was able to make. It went through a lot of iterations. It went through a lot of redrafts. It stopped and started. I actually signed over the option to another director to make it. That was painful. That was pain I had to learn how to suffer through. I took it back, and this is the film, All the Names We Buried, that hopefully I'm going to make next year in 2020. If I will make it next year, it will have been a 13-year journey of suffering through the pain to get that movie made. I didn't make my first film until 2015, didn't come out to 2017. 10 years of trying to make a movie, I finally made my first film. There was a lot of pain that I had to learn how to suffer through to get there. A film I produced in 2018, Premise, after my first film didn't happen, I thought that would be my first film. I signed over the option to that film for someone else to, to direct. That was painful. I had to learn how to suffer through that. And I had a dream job. I had a great nine to five where I was making short films that was rich and that was free from a lot of pain and suffering. But even while I was making these great films, I was still trying to get my own passion projects made and those took time. I left that job under a painful circumstance. In retrospect, a, a traumatic, shattering sort of event in my life that I'm still coming to terms with, I'm still trying to figure out. I'm grateful for it because it led me to start Bad Theology, to create the slate of films, to start producing my own features, which were now on the third film. So I don't begrudge it for its place in my life, me leaving that, me leaving that job. 
but I'm still coming to terms with it. I'm still suffering through that pain and my ability to learn how to suffer well and appropriately and rightly and constructively will determine my level of growth. Hopefully we'll make this film in 2020, all the names we buried. I tried to make it this fall. I've talked about me pivoting, not being able to do that, but working with some people who wanted to make a bigger, better version of the film, so that's exciting. But I've suffered through pain and I know that pain will be with me throughout my life, as it will be all of us, both personally and professionally. And I won't quit. <laughs> I will make it because I accept and I surrender to the suffering. You can't escape it. You can't even fight it. And you certainly don't want to succumb to it and give in to it. You know, I've had friends who have had suffering too great in their life and they've just given in to it. And that's manifested itself and really horrible ways. So there's, there's a way to suffer without resisting, without fighting, without giving in. Bearing the pain. And that is a hard thing to do. But it is required. And it will determine your success. If you don't know how to suffer, you will quit. And you should quit. But if you can suffer, if you can understand how to bear the burden of pain for yourself, for your art, Surround yourself with people who can help you through that, who understand it too, then you can make it. And I'm here in 2019 in this vlog documenting the journey, the struggle, the suffering. And if I quit, if I bail on the dream, on the business, it will be because I couldn't handle the suffering anymore. But I'm not going to. This feels as much inevitable as it is a calling. And I'm still here and I'm still sticking with it in 2019, heading into my 38th birthday, looking back on my 30s as a painful decade, excited about my 40s as a productive decade where I can build upon the suffering that I'm going through. But I'm not going to run from pain, resist pain or give in to pain. I'm just going to have to learn how to suffer through it, learn how to do that more. So filmmakers, artists, actors, when the pain comes, just suffer through it. Don't whine. Don't get resentful. Don't complain. Don't quit. Suffer. That's why we need people around us. That's why we need a community. So when the highs are high, you can celebrate. When the lows are low, you can get through it. So get through it. Just suffer through it.